All right, so the, the X-Men 97 reactions, they continue with episode 5, and even after the, the last episode, but you know, this is a good show so far, so I'm gonna give this my first time watch, and give you guys my thoughts for the very first time, and also, if you haven't checked out the rest of the episodes, they're laid down in the description and they're on my channel and also a shout to prepper for helping out here and also subscribe and hit that notification bell to get notified for future fits and when the reaction for the next episode is up here on the channel but now let's get, let's get to this episode here we go it's a techno organic virus strain oh only got enough juice for nathan and i we can't go with you my next life will be mine take care oh, oh that was a clone from gene gray Merely to accept that this is a shared world and that my kind have the right to live in it. <laughs> Maybe we should take a page from the professor's playbook and give Eric a second shot. Do you think your team would still trust you if they... I let him lead the X-Men. Yep, the, the, the intro is always amazing. The intro gets so good every single time. Wait, what was that? A new scene there? Oh, there was a new scenes added. All right, let's see what we got here. Was it caused by atomic testing? Or is it nature deciding the time has come to change the human race? But all over the planet, they are known as mutants. We prefer to see it as a world that misunderstands us. Remember it. Well, I am just as flattered to be sitting with a renowned scientist, Dr. McCoy. Blue blushes too, my dear. <laughs> Man, I, I love his character, by the way, with Beast. For many of the X-Men, Xavier's school is the only home they've ever known. People who have fallen through the cracks, forgotten. Desperate to belong. But that sense of belonging <laughs> goes worldwide. Aww. UN formally admits the mutant nation. This is taking forever. Gambit, please remember that should the new oh, Blackbird suffer... Did they are heading for Genosha. Look ahead! Hey, y'all. Whoa. Maybe busy doing a bit of renovating since Gambit's last visit. Wow, Magneto is going with them. All right. <laughs> Wow. Wow, Genosha is pretty interesting. Oh. Oh, they are wel welcoming the X-Men into Genosha. My friends. Well, would you look at you, girl? <laughs> Two always better than one, and far better than three. Forgive Gambit's passive adolescence. He insisted on coming after Rogue agreed to join me at the gala. I confess, the Master of Magnetism was surprised to receive an invite bearing the United Nations. Oh. The Interim Council would love a word with you before tonight's gala. Privately, if possible. So where the heck does that leave us? <laughs> Nightcrawler! A live wire! Kurt Wagner, how the heck are you? The Nightcrawler is back. Kurt joined the council to help work with Genosha's various communities of faith. The things to see. Such founders in this city. Long as he left those faith. Well, his character has not changed at all. Or has it? <sighs> it's just like he said it'd be. The professor? Uh, yeah, <laughs> sure. Always used to say we'd have a place all our own one day. More than a place. Well... I, l I like the, the chemistry between these two. It's I think it's good. I think. Maybe Gambit's willing to ask questions no one else will. Like why is Magneto suddenly mutant MVP? Mm-hmm. So far, I'm liking this. So far. A man named Gambit. Your poker face is very poor. Hey, mind your bees, <laughs> So theatrical. Life is violins and close-ups. I blame soap operas. Just marry Isabel oh. and be done. What? Marry a rogue? 
Scott, <laughs> are you surprised to see such a bold move in world politics? Being an X-Man teaches anything, Miss Tilby. It's to expect the unexpected. <laughs> I always kept that in mind. <laughs> well, Cyclops with, with the humor. I think it's always good. Actually, let's talk about you and Marvel Girl. I hear you're the X-Men's power couple. A love that's... The Marvel couple. I remember so many things. So many with Scott. The two love the Yeah. Family. He's grieving his son. Although the way he's avoiding me recalls a time. We were in Nevada. I had just acquired oh. the power of a cosmic entity. And um, what was the problem between them? Or She seemed nervous when I asked her to go out. Like she didn't trust me. Afraid the Phoenix had changed me. I wanted to reassure him. I wanted to show her that nothing had changed. She was still the hothead who knocked my books out of my hand when I <laughs> ran into her on the first day of school. But... Oh, remembering the time that they first met each other. It's nice. Jean was using the power of the Phoenix to block my optic blasts, and we could see each other's eyes. They anchored me, focused me. His eyes made me stay. Oh. That's to look up and keep paddling. Keep moving. Because the past will yank you under if you don't. Forget how many sunrises your eyes have seen. The only ever seen one of you, Red. Just the one. What the? What just happened? I'm... You're Jean Grey. He's Scott Summers. Those are the rules. You just forgot him for a sec. Enough said. Now go talk to that overgrown boy. Of course, I think it's with Wolverine. I saw hospital records for one Nathan Charles Summers, born at Westchester Memorial. I spoke to a Dr. Bryans there. He said you told your teammate, told Rogue. I called my kid a freak. I came here today to give the X-Men a chance to show the world that mutants are just like us. Normal. Because they're trying to blend into humanity. I gave him up because you can't say thank you. Because I have to stomach your questions and prove that I'm a person. I lie because the truth is we're nothing like you. Because it's the only reason you people are still alive. Man, what a not so good way to end an interview. We need to be thinking about how to speak loudly. We need a handsome jawline that begs trust and respect. A poster child king. Careful, Miss Frost. Don't go fell in this man's head. Oh, Miss Frost. None of us would be here today were it not for you and your publicity stunt. Are there no others better tempered to stomach the squabble of human diplomacy? But Charles be gone, Magneto. And I may not like it. But if Charles trusts you with his X-Men, he trusts you with this. Yep, just like after the animated he series. A bar in Germany when he first mentioned his dream. I laughed at him. Sentimental or suicidal? Both. Or in an early grave. Because, like, uh, Magneto was on uh, Xavier's side for when he went in, and it's, it's a coma. Dream worth dying for. We thought we'd perish before seeing the day when humanity accepted our people. Like Moses in the Promised Land. We would carry the dream, but never live it. I may not be Jean Grey, but I know what the professor would say if he was here. Time to dream bigger. Yep, and, th and that's why I think he's going to lead the X-Men. Knock you from here to the North Pole. You think making me your queen means we're getting back together? It is a political calculation. What the? This was Xavier's design. It is why he gave me his X Men a final chance to uphold the promise we made to one another so long ago. I need help. You take me. Wow. Well. Fool, acting like this is all about you. So, so Magneto ha has turned into a, a hero and now to lead the X Men, but puts sets hiccups in charge and now him. We would be lucky to have you lead. I can't believe I. Wow, does Rogue even trust him or to lead the team? There are some things worth holding on to. Describe him to me. Describe Nathan. I see him everywhere. Every face on every street, so clearly. I can't see color. I see these big brown eyes and this wild rust-colored hair. Uh, it, 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 it's her kid. Don't tell me! You can explain! What the? Whoa. Will you excuse us, Madeline? Something wrong, Miss Pryor? Hmm. Go to Genosha. Be with my clone. Oh dear. What you saw on the astral plane was confusion, Jean. She's the mother of my son. Uh, exactly. One thing I can be certain about right now. Do you love her? I love 
both of you. Whole galaxies beckoned me, but I turned my what? back. What? So you like both her clone and her? The music's changing and you need a chair. Father, husband. And you? You don't trust your memories. Do you even love me? My love for you is the one thing I remember amid this pain and insanity. <laughs> or feel. Choose, Jean. Right. Do you love me, Jean? Or am I just a lovely memory? <laughs> Jean! What is it? Okay. Uh, hey there. So far, I think this episode is interesting enough. Expecting a lady call. What's wrong, Shia? You best sit down. It was back after I ran away from my dad. My evil mother was helping me with my powers. Hmm. The man seemed nice enough. Seemed to want to help. He spent weeks talking about how mutants were special. We'd have our own cities and culture one day. I think she, I don't know, she's going to eventually fall for him or with, with Magneto. And when we realized that his electromagnetic powers protected him from my touch, happened. But then I started seeing the hurt in them raging waters. There wasn't enough room in our affair for his... Oh God, so this is their story. ...need to be afraid of mm. change. And if I can play a bigger role and better in the world, well, that's the whole reason I became an expert. So, so that's what Genosha is basically doing in, in this episode. I couldn't do... Like telling Gambit the dang truth. I can't touch you, Remy! Your heart may beat for me, but I can't. <laughs> you light up everything you touch. Aww. Something's a bit deeper than skin, Shia. Not this. I wager that fool will break your heart in two. Gambit always knows the odds. That it? Hmm. Of course. We be friends, mon ami. Just friends. Oh, I, I was going to see these two fall in love, but... Now it's like, I don't know, it, it, that's a chance. Wow, this looks kind of cool. Most other nations don't allow a terrorist to be their leader. Yet so many <laughs> allow their leaders to be terrorists. If it eases your mind, Magneto accepted only on the condition that we are... he, he, he was one of the greatest villains of the anime series, and now to properly lead the X-Men. Oh my gosh. Well, I, I do enjoy the aspects of this, especially with Jin Jin Genosha, that I can pull off cool stuff like this. Oh my god. What? <laughs> Kill the music! Cable? Oh my, C Cable's here! Who's coming? Cable, what's going on? Uh oh. I'm so sorry, Mom. Sorry for what? Whoa. Oh my god. What is happening? Imagine Nightcrawler in action. Here we go. A promise was made. Almost to the gardens. Okay, now I can always see the action here. Save as many as you can. We shall not live our days wondering if we could have saved more. Oh, yes. Well, Well, the Sentinels. Whoa. 
about the uh, Sentinels on Genosha. Oh. Yes, it's time for Magnet Needle to be the hero. Oh my god, yes. He promised Leech would never be scared again. The Axemen are no friends to the Morlocks. Mutants located. Uh, well, the Sentinels are, are hunted down the mutants. Well, uh, just uh, like how they were hunt, hunt, hunting them, them down in, in the animated series. Oh, oh my gosh. I think, I think this could be the coolest thing I've ever seen. Yep. I'm kinda axed. Well, I like how Magneto was protecting them in, in, in that moment. Home. Yes. Yes, Rogue, go full charge on them. Damn it, see your bet. Yep. <gasps> oh no. Oh my god. No. Mutant intruder neutralized. The name's Gambit. Bon ami. Well, any time you can kill him in in, in that show, but no. <laughs> but seriously, Gambit? Remember it. Yes. How many? How many, damn it? To reiterate for those just returning. The destruction of what landed on Genosha. And world events. Oh my. The images you are about to see. Oh my god. When the, the uh, Sentinels invaded. All the damage. <laughs> Oh my god, Gambit. And so, for my thoughts on this episode, I thought it was good. I thought it was interesting, but even though that it, it, it ended like this, especially with, with the uh, destruction of Genosha, and even with the rogue like, holding Gambit in her arms, as I, this was a, like, a, a very emotional moment, especially for her, but even with the X-Men and, and uh, Magneto visiting Genosha, I, mean, I, I thought it was really interesting. And even that they brought back Nightcrawler from the animated series, I, I thought like, his like, character like uh, n never changed, but he, even though I think he, he's still the exact same, but I, I really did enjoy his character, and especially for what he brought. And and just with the with, with the chemistry between these characters, especially with the uh, rogue, but between a Magneto and Gambit, I thought it, it was sort of good. And even and I got a backstory, but but even though know, th this episode like it, it was all right, but it, even like towards like the end of, of this episode, it's just, especially like with, with the, uh, the destruction and how everything has been like de destroyed and I, even with, with the sensitives that have invaded and even with this moment right here uh, with the with the magneto just like protecting the x-men it, it was so cool to see just see a magneto like become like, a leader of the x-men or like to become a hero because i think with uh, a magneto uh, because he, he wants to f fulfill what xavier has done but even with this moment right Right here, when the uh, Sentinels, you know, like, killed Gambit, but you know, like he, he he said the words "remember it," and, and, and then like oh my God, all that destruction, even that, that that we see like Cable return and like a 
warning Jean Grey about the danger of what's to come, and that's with the uh, the uh, Sentinels and the uh, Genosha, and it's a uh, destruction that is happening because I think with Cable, that I think he is definitely coming back and so is with, with the mutants and the x-men they're, they're definitely going to fight back and even at the beginning of the episode of when we, we hear a gambit saying a previously on x-men and like i think that like gambit was sort of the focus towards the end of the episode and mostly for the final fight and like that that's what led, led him to this like to his death and to his sacrifice it was a good episode until it ended on like a tragic note but but then, like, I mean, I I, I, I just liked all, all, all of its elements that, that was combined. The, uh, the destruction that, that happens near, near, near towards the uh, very end, like, and even with, with uh, Gambit joining in on, on the fight, just, especially as we see him being killed by the Sentinels and, and like, just like you know, uh, sacrificing himself, and and and, and then that, now that because we we can tell that he he's like now fully dead, but like now like wow, this was like absolutely tragic, especially for of what the X Men are going to do, and, and now that with a uh, Genosha that, that that was like you know uh, destroyed like half of it, like, uh, like uh, by the uh, Sentinels, and uh, they have invaded, but like now like I think some things are are, are definitely about to go down. But I, I think like, well, it just I, I thought this was it, it was an ex ex extremely good episode as we got to explore more of these characters because it, it, even with, with the character development that develops even more in in the show, it, it's sort of like a very very good and that, that's why I like some sort of like I, I admire from the, this in animated series and that, it, 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 but even with this moment right, right, right here of when uh, Wolverine and Jean Grey so, so sort of like kiss but that was like I mean I don't if it was awkward in any way but even though know, with uh, Jean Grey like yeah you know, she she loves Cyclops I mean she, she, she loves Scott Summers and, and like I mean, that, that moment was crazy right right there but you, you know I, I really enjoyed all, all the action that, that went down towards the very end I, I think that this made for one heck of a good episode as well and I can't wait for the next one as well and so that's going to be the first video I just let, let me know you guys saw us in the comments down below and uh, what, what, what are your thoughts on this episode of X Men 97 and are you looking forward to the next one as well and just let me know in, in the comments don't forget to like the video and subscribe and turn on notifications for future videos and also follow all my social medias which are linked down below and with that i'll see y'all in the next video peace